Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast. Today, let's talk about breaking through some very, very difficult situations in life. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Perry Tinsley here, creator of the Power Blast podcast, owner of PutYourselfFirst.com and founder of Team Power Blast, also the author of the ebook My Fit Start at MyFitStart.com. It's all yours for free. Got my buddy Bingo over here. <laughs> Back behind you. Um, you know, just something that just, just popped in my head, you know, we all experience trauma at some point in our life, whether we get robbed, car accident, uh, maybe a major illness, divorce, death of a loved one. Um, it's just part of life. And when it happens, it's, you know, it's just something that you, you need to know that you need to be flexible to accept and work with it and deal with it. And it's not always the easiest. I've been reading Tony Horton's book, The Big Picture, and uh, something really hit home with me as I was reading that today. It's called The Law to Stay Flexible. And no, it's not to do with yoga or anything like that, although that does pay off. Um, he had a little quote in there. Uh, when we no longer are able to change the situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. That's uh, by a guy named Victor E. Frankel. And, you know... There are some mental health experts, and this really didn't hit hold with me, with me until I realized of what I had gone through. Um, so, some mental health experts out there believe that you know people can really benefit from having a traumatic event in their life. Now, I'm not saying I'm wishing traumatic events, um, but we'll, we'll all have some of those things. But the concept here is post-traumatic growth. And I know a lot of times, um, you know, pe- people do struggle with with traumatic events, but it's about digging deeper inside yourself that can help you. Um, It might help you uh, uh, be open to more opportunities or gain an appreciation for life or um, look for other other things, spiritual growth, whatever. Um, But it's, it's kind of this resilience is the key to happiness sort of thing. And you kind of get got to get real with yourself. So facing it on, you know, head on type of thing, it, it really, it really helps you move, move forward. But I know that I've talked to a lot of friends that have really, really struggled. It, it's really, it, it's hard when you have an unexpected shock. Um, you get these little what ifs in your head. Um, the poor me sort of thing. Um, the brain loves to feed on that negativity. Um, I, I know that I, that happened a lot with me when, uh, when I had lost my wife in a car crash and, you know, the, it's the internal stuff. I, I realized that, um, it, without knowing that or having an expert reach out to me, um, that, you know, it, it was the inside stuff that you get to control of, you know, take control of the trauma stuff. That's external things that you can't control. And it's just kind of how you're going to react to it. Um, I, I won't lie. It was very, very challenging to get through uh, the visit from a coroner coming and visiting your door and saying, hey, you've lost your life or lost your life, lost your wife to a car crash. You, how do you take that in um, or, or any other situation that you may have experienced? Um You know, if you decide, you can decide to be a victim of circumstance and that's what you're going to get. Uh, You you expect bad things to happen. You focus on uh, negative things. Those things just kind of come in. And I won't lie, those things did happen to me. A lot of what ifs and that. But I tried to flip it. Uh, I, I tried to flip it and focus on the positive because really focusing on negative emotions just kind of reinforces more negative. It's like creating a bad habit that just keeps going, going, going. You just, this big downward spiral. So when obstacles do pop up, you know, it's, it's, it's important to recognize that you can deal with them realistically to step back and say, you know what, we, I can get through this. This absolutely sucks. Um, does it mean you're going to forget the incident or anything like that? Heck no. Um, nothing like that. Uh, but there may be some other opportunities in there. I know for me, it did happen that way just because I knew like, what can I control? I can control my health and my my exercise and what actions I take for myself. 
and relationships I build and things like that. And so uh, I think Tony in this book uses the word functional op optimism, which, uh, you know, that's, I've got to actually read something here. It says it's not knowing everything can work out. It's about knowing that everything will work out because you're going to do what you need to do to make it happen. And while it may be a painful journey to get to where you want to be, to, to make it go away, to not have to, you know, wish it was just a dream or a bad nightmare or whatever to go away. And, and you've got to deal with it. You've got to go through it. Um, you can try to avoid it. You can, but it's still there. And so you've got to deal with it. What are you going to do? And you do have choices. That's one of the things that I love helping people through, you know, not that I'm a counselor or anything like that, but I've gone through uh, a few big impacting sort of things that, you know what, had to face head on. I think we all will. So that's what I want to know from you. You know, what are some traumatic things that you've gone through and how, do, how have you gone through it? I mean, how have you gotten through it? doesn't mean you're going to move past it. doesn't mean you're going to forget about it or anything like that. You just move differently. But what did you do to make it positive to take advantage, to, to break through? And were there any opportunities along the way? Were there any things that you learned about yourself? Were you able to grow uh, from that? And, you know, there's these can be some really ugly terrible things but they're I don't know what do they call it a silver lining uh, I, I that's not always the easiest see to see um, you know I don't wish wish tragedy or anything on anybody but we do we do have we have choices in that mine when I had lost my wife was to I, I, I had my moments of wallowing and sorrow but was to turn around and say you know how, how can I look at this and celebrate what what um, what life had, had great life had, had been lived and to uh, honor with a, um, a a dog naming of a dog park and lots of other things but it was always, that opportunity just came around as a part of that um, functional optimism and that uh, what do they call it the uh, uh, post-traumatic growth